Hey friends, welcome to the second round of Take It Out Tuesday. Today we are going to be decluttering my bathroom closet, which I'm super excited about because it is one of those places that is also a very high traffic area. If you didn't catch the last video, it was in my closet. And I'm of course gonna link that below if you're interested, but today we're gonna do the bathroom. And what we're going to do is different from what I've ever done in my bathroom. And that is we're gonna take everything out of the closet. We are going to bring it over here and put it on my bed. Actually seeing the pile of how many things you have it was very helpful for me to realize that I could definitely declutter a lot. So today we're gonna to go through everything I have and I would love to hear from you guys if you have decluttered anything today on Take It Out Tuesday, then please put it below and remember to subscribe for the next video next week. So let's jump into my bathroom closet right now. Let's get everything out, put it on this bed and hopefully right after this video, you're gonna go do the same. All right, friends, so the first thing that I already know is coming out of that closet is this Lazy Susan right here. It is very obnoxious because it's a circle. Everything that goes in it is a rectangle or square, and so they just don't fit. Plus, the things that I had in it, my little carrying cases, don't need to be in something that's a nice Lazy Susan because I can already see what they are, and there's only three of them. So this is going to go out of my bathroom. And also, I have decided that I am going to get rid of this little bag that I got from a Goodwill a while ago. It's a nice little bag, so I am going to be donating it, but I just don't use this one. It is just a little bit too small for the three of us in the family. And when Carrie Ann goes off and does her own things by herself, like when she spends the night at my parents' house, we end up just using other little tiny bags that we have. So this is just hasn't been necessary. And so I'm going to let it go. It's so funny. These things like this that I hang on to for just far too long, far past when I need them. And I know that I don't need it. I know I haven't used it in over a year. And yet it just feels like, well, what if I do need it? What if that moment does come and I do want a bag just this size and I won't have it? I think we got to stop living for those what ifs. Like we just, we have to just stop. And I, I'm actually, I'm telling this to myself. So don't take this personally if you don't do it, but I, I've got to stop. <laughs> I've got to stop with all the what ifs because it makes me hold on to things for far, far longer than I need to. I am going to keep our little, this is like a Vera Bradley one that I got at a Goodwill. It's amazing the, the awesome things you can find at thrift stores. I'm sure someone spent pretty good money on this and I think I got it for like five bucks, but it is the perfect size for all of the stuff we end up taking when we travel. And then I'm going to keep my little one that we put our toothbrushes in. All right, now let's move on to the next thing that was up at the top, and that is my little basket for my one, it's like a hair straightener curler kind of thing that I really love, it's Revlon. Um, I am going to keep this because it's my favorite. Now, it doesn't really fit in this basket, so as I'm kind of assessing uh, the different things that I end up going through in the bathroom, I might end up moving this somewhere else. But we're gonna put this over to the side. Let's go on to towels. So my husband has one towel. I have one towel. I have one hair towel that's specific just for my hair. So my daughter has two of these beautiful yellow towels. They actually have her name embroidered at the bottom. My sister-in-law gave us these and they are just so adorable. And that bucket has a lovely little lid that says towels. And so I've said this a million times, but Creating a kind of home, like I've created this home for towels, means that I can't have any more than this area right here. And it really helps you to assess, oh, I've gotten too many, I need to start decluttering some, or hopefully it stops you before you even buy anymore, knowing that your 
container, your basket, your home is already full. All right, friends, so this is my rag and hand towel basket, and I have four rags, and right now that is a good amount for us, so I'm actually going to keep those. I also have four of these hand towels, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna get rid of two of them right now because these ones I really just don't like very much, and I think eventually down the road, I would like to get a different kind of hand towel that might dry a little bit better, not be so stained so easily. I don't wanna get rid of all of them right now because I haven't found a kind that I really love, but I know we, don't, we just don't use these very much. We don't gravitate to them. So I'm gonna kinda look at the ones that have a little more stains. And so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Let's see. Let's see which one's worse. Oh yeah, this one's worse. All right, so and I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one has lots of little stains all over it. I've had these for years and they they have, you know, done their service. I'm gonna thank them. I thank you. I thank you for what you've done for me. But um, we're ready to move on from these really. Okay, so two hand towels are out and I'm going to keep the two that are a little bit nicer right now. And these things are gonna go back in the same basket right here. And voila, a little bit lighter, a little bit better. Okay, friends, so this is our sheet basket. And as you can see, it only has one pillowcase. And that is because my brother has recently moved out, I guess about a month and a half, two months ago, and he didn't need his bed. So he left his bed, so I put our one extra sheet fitted sheet on his bed in case we have guests or my grandma wants to come stay but i don't have a pillow for it yet so this is going to go on the pillow that i eventually do buy but that really means that i don't have any extra sheets so i know this sounds kind of crazy but on our bed we only have one sheet and i take it off i wash it that day like i literally i just washed this yesterday so i used to have two for a long long time and I finally got rid of the last one I had because it got a big rip in the side and so it just wasn't functioning the way I needed it to. So I got rid of that one and I had debated about getting another one for a long time and then I just realized that I don't really need it. I haven't had any big sheet incidences happen where I was desperate, but you've got to find what feels right for you. My daughter has an extra sheet, but it's on that spare bed like I was talking about, so really she doesn't have an extra one either and we just clean them and rotate them out in that same day. So that might work for you, it might not, but really I don't need this big basket for sheets anymore because it's just not something that I have a lot of. So I'm gonna rethink where this pillowcase should go and I think what I'm gonna do is because I have extra room in our rag basket now, I'm just gonna put it at the very bottom of this basket. There we go, now I've gotten rid of a whole basket that I just didn't need for that little piece of nothing. So before we move on to hair, I think it is really funny how we just get so used to seeing things like, you know, this basket with literally one pillowcase in it forever. And I just go past it so often that I don't even think about moving it somewhere else and not having to have that basket in there and having more space. It's just one of those things that when we get so used to seeing things over and over again, they stop bothering us. But when we take everything out and we refresh and we restart, we realized there was a lot of things that were just clutter we didn't need. But now we're gonna go into my hair bin, which is a bit of a mess right now. So we have a few headbands, some bows, which really, my daughter doesn't really like bows. I only keep a few, but she very rarely wears them because she just says they bother her, which, so I'm not gonna make her wear them, even though I think they're adorable. And then we have a few of these like really weird hair pieces she got for Christmas. I think I'm gonna take these out just because they get everywhere. Just the hair is kind of gross. But she likes to wear these and put them on the dogs occasionally. So I'm gonna put those in her room with her stuff. And then in here, this headband is falling apart, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. These are my favorite scrunchies and they don't tug on my very heavy hair, so I really like those and these are awesome clips, but really, I only use one, so I'm gonna get rid of the black one. I really like the brown one, but I tend to not reach for the black one ever, so it just takes up a lot of space, so let's get rid of that. And then here is just an assortment of my daughter's hair things and little 
little hair things that I will use in my hair, and then my daughter's hair chalk. So these things in here are going to stay. These things right here we use the most, so they go up at the top. These hair bows, I think I'm gonna take out and ask my daughter if she still wants them. She just doesn't ever want to wear them. And then here's our hairbrush. And then actually I'd like to find a different place to put this stuff. So I might take this out and reassess where I think it should go. All right, friends, so I've been thinking about taking those band-aids out of here, and I already said I wanted to find a different place for this hair thing, so actually this fits really well. I just shift this around, and now this is a complete just hair container. All right, friends, so before we move on to the last few baskets, I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna use this basket that had the hair stuff in it, and it's actually perfect for our little travel containers. And so now it looks a lot nicer. They're not always falling out of that clear Lazy Susan and that's gonna go back in the top. All right, so once again, I've put the little label on there so it's easy to know what's exactly in this bucket. And then when you look inside, probably the only thing I could see in here to get rid of is this baby rub because my daughter just does not like this stuff at all and refuses to use it. So why keep it? So this is going to go out the door. I think what I'm actually going to try and do in here is open up some room for those band-aids and ear swabs, and I'd like them to be able to fit in here. So let's see if we can make that work. All right, friends, so now we have done it. We have decluttered this little medicine cabinet basket that I have. So I could show you, this is the basket I also use for my daughter's toys, which if you are a mom of a small child, this basket rules the world for me because it has holes. And so my daughter will throw her toys in here. And even if they are a little bit wet still, you can just dump it over and all the water falls out. And so she has an assortment of two Barbies. She has a little, pan that used to hold tea in it that goes in here and she has a little Barbie boat and some goggles and a snorkel. So that is all she has for play toys. And I will say less is more when it comes to play toys because I find that we've had these same play toys since the summer and she still loves these. She has not asked for any more. Really, I feel like all that time I had spent when she was really little buying all those massive amounts of play toys when really she would have been happy with just a few. All right, friends, so the very last thing that I'm going to work on decluttering is our little dog box right here. So let's get into this. If you're enjoying this video and you like learning about decluttering, then remember to hit that subscribe button so you can get my next video on Friday. All right, so like I said, this is our dog box. So we have our dog's medicine, which I don't want to take out of the containers. There's another one of these hair things that my daughter got for Christmas. And so this one, I think I'm just going to throw away because it's covered in dog stuff. And then we have an old dog shirt that my dogs just don't really like. And actually, my daughter loves to dress blue, our bigger dog, in her own clothes because he wears about the same size. So we don't really need those extra ones. And then this is just all different kinds of medicine. This one's actually empty, so I'm gonna get rid of that box. Here's some old directions from that box. So I'm getting rid of this. My dog not too long ago, the older one had some back problems. And so they gave us some pain medicine and said that we could kind of keep it um, if it ever happened again. Hopefully it won't, poor little guy, it was so awful. He had like back spasms. It was awful. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the, these cutters we just have actually never used. And we have these nice scissors, so I don't even know where these came from. But those are nice for our dogs. And then we have the hair groomer because we just groom our own dogs. It is way too expensive for our two dogs to get groomed. And so there we go. 
So this is what we have in our little dog care kit. And let's go put all this stuff back. All right, friends, if you have enjoyed this declutter, then remember to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you again very soon.